my objective is to empower you and make sure you have what you need so you're good. So whether that be I'm doing it for you or whether you're doing it. And if you decide to do it your own self, it's absolutely fine. And then if something you know messes up and you come back and say, hey, can you um, help me with this? Of course, there is an added fee. So it's better to kind of better in your pockets to get it up front versus waiting and getting it on the back end. If you have any questions, let me know. But here we go. Oops. Okay. So I just finished this website for a client. We've made all the updates that she has been asking for. Typically, we do maybe two updates after um, I've sent over the initial body of work. Um, and so we are to the place now where it's time for me to record my video to show them how you do. So you're going to go to your website, coverforcoach.com forward slash WP dash admin. So when you I already typed it in and in return, it changes it to login because it's, of course, asking me to log in. So when you go to WP admin, because it's a WordPress account, then it takes you to this login page. From the login page, you're going to go ahead. Oh, it's stinking now. There we go. From the login page, go ahead and log in. It's going to bring you to like the home page on the website. Come on, home page. And so a lot of these updates are pretty easy to kind of go in and change. What I normally recommend is going in, changing maybe one thing and leaving it going out and checking it to make sure it looks like you want it. And then go back and make another change, save it. That way, if something goes awry, you can kind of undo the last thing you did because you remember. But anyway, on this page, this is like the dashboard, as you see here, you're going to go pages. And so a lot of times um, you may want to add a page to the to the website. And so that's something that's fairly easy to do. You just click add page or add new rather. When you go to add new, it's going to open up a new screen. And this title here on the left hand side is the title that shows. So I'm going to say test. So this is so you will know when you're going in and looking at these different pages on the back end system, what page you're messing with. On the right hand side, whatever you type the title in on the left, that's going to automatically pop up for the URL. You can take the dash out. You can change it all together. I'm going to name it YY. But as I changed it, you can see here that it updated the URL. That's going to be the URL for the site, for this particular page, should I say. So now it says Y test, see? All right. So you figure out what you want your name to be. You figure out your URL. Or you leave it like it is, either way. And you hit publish. So I recommend that you do all of your um, websites addition inside of the theme and not in this default area that um, WordPress has set up for you. You can do your design directly in WordPress, but most people have a, um, a theme that they'll use, which I highly recommend doing. Um, on this page, if you're using, oh yeah, okay, so there we go. So you're gonna hit Launch Thrive Architect. All right, it's thinking. There we go. So inside of Launch Thrive Architect, this is where you'll do all of your building. This is where you're gonna do your, um, your typing and whatever changes you want to make it's all going to happen to this one page right here okay and it's still thinking so apparently my website or my internet is starting to slow down a little bit or maybe it's the computer sorry for the delay This page doesn't normally pop up. Sorry, I must have clicked on one of these buttons on the side. All right, so once you're in here, you'll scroll down to the text. It says post content here. 
This is a brand new page. This is the header and the footer that's already built onto the page. The header's up top. This is the top section. So that's gonna automatically show up as a default on all of our pages. And then we have the footer and the bottom section below. We can turn those on and off, not a big deal. You're gonna hit your plus sign on the right hand side and you'll select. If you wanna use something that's pre-made, you'll just click on it. This pop-up pops. So these things are already kind of formatted for you and you can just pick whatever one's in here and then you can alter the text in the picture. So that's what we're gonna do for now. You'll click on the image on the left-hand side, you click on replace image, put in the image that you want and so be it. If you wanna change the text, you'll just change it here. Click on it and change it. Now, how you're seeing it right now is what exactly it's going to show up on the main page. That's one thing that I like about using this particular um, theme or layout for um, designing websites because you see it the way it's going to show up on the website. You see it as you're going. So you can kind of move things around. Some of these themes, you're moving stuff and you're changing stuff and you have to go somewhere else to look at it and see what it's going to look like, but that's too much. Anyway, once you type this information in on the left-hand side, just hit save. When you're typing something, if you want to make it a link, let's say I want to turn this word into a link, just hit that link button up top, type in the URL. That's it. If I click on this image and I want this image to have a link on the left-hand side, it says add link to image. I turn it on and type in the link that I wanted to go to. So what'll happen is when someone clicks on this image or click on that word, it'll automatically go to, you know, wherever I'm sending it, whatever URL that I set up for it. All right, so that's how you add a new page. And that's really how you edit the page as well. The biggest thing is making sure you hit save over here on the left-hand side. And bada boom, bada bing. You've added a page and we've made edits to it. So we've killed two birds with one stone. Um, and that's something that a lot of people like to do, add pages or edit pages that are already on their website. All right, so let's show you the blog. The blog kind of works the same. Um, the blog is already set up on this account. Oh. Apparently my computer is just slowing down. I closed that first page and now I'm gonna click on this W so I can get back to the dashboard. So the blog page is already set up. You're not gonna click on here to make your changes or to add, um, to add um, blog posts. You're gonna click on posts and you can go right to add posts. So the way this account is set up, um, it's set so that the you can just add in the blog posts themselves and it'll automatically show up on the website in the appropriate place and it'll move them over as you go. So right now, this is the default post that's there. It's put in by WordPress. Of course, you can delete it out by going to trash, but you just hit add new and you go through the same process that we just went through, building a web page and building a post page. It's the same exact process. Um, let's go down to appearance on the left-hand side and go to menus. So one of the things that um, you asked about was if you wanted to change a link that's already set up. So, um, we have shop as one of the menu items up top on that top uh, right-hand corner. And it says custom link, but it, the link that's in here hasn't been given yet. So it's at na.com. You literally just click that little arrow and type in what URL you want to be there. So when someone clicks shop on the top right in the menu bar, it'll automatically go to this website. You'll step off and save. If there's something that you don't want up there, just hit remove instead of save. Um, but you'll save it on the bottom and it's automatically there. If you're wanting to add something new to the menu, then if it's a page that you wanna add, 
Um, let's say we want to add another or contact us page. Put the check in the box and hit add. And now it's in the menu twice. I can click on it and drag it and put it wherever I want it. I'm going to delete this one because this is the test one. We'll just hit remove. If you want to add a post, you click on post. It'll show you all posts that are available so you can drag them to the menu. Same thing with custom links. You'll click on it, type in the URL that you want, type in the word that you want to show, and then add it to the menu. And so in return, that's all done. But let me save it back so it'll go back to what it was. And those are the main things that people want to manage to on a regular you know, on a semi-regular basis. If you have HTML code that you're wanting to add, where we were with changing the um, picture or in the block, you can just type in HTML over there. And by typing in HTML, a box will pop up for HTML code and you'll paste it into that box and put it where you want it. So we have covered how to set up a brand new page, We've covered how to change the menu. We've covered how to edit pages. We've covered how to add text and images. We've also covered how to, um, oh, what else was it? We talked a little bit about HTML code and we've covered, let's do edit for this front page. And we've covered um, HTML code, oh, how to edit a page. I think, yeah, we've hit everything that's on my list. So let me pop over and see if anyone has any questions and we will be good to go. Like I said, my computer's moving a little so to apologize for the delay. All right, I see no questions. Looks like everyone is getting what they need. If you want to change the picture in the header, you'll click on the picture. And we're going to go to uh, background style. It has the image here. So it has an overlay and it has the picture. You'll just click on the second one. And when you click on the second one, you'll be able to put any, um, select any of the images that are there and add the picture to or replace what is currently showing. But that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if something comes up and you say, well, I don't want to make these updates, or you've made some updates and they're not functioning correctly and you need help, or something's broke, then <laughs> uh, reach out to me at info at michelless.com and uh, we'll get you back up and moving as soon as possible. Um, but that is everything. I hope you have a great day. I hope this is helpful. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.